Pete's Vass here from Aussie RC Playground and we are back with the Creighton A8S but this time I'm running my Max 5 combo. So as we peek under the hood here we can actually see what's going on. I've got my Max 5 ESC, the motor is the 800 kV 56113 motor. Got some fans on here that I picked up from Banggood. I don't know if they're any good or not, I'm just trying them out. My gearing is a 3939 so I'm actually using the spool out of the Limitless as a pinion as well as a spur gear. Uh, that's how I got that gear ratio. And you know, I've got to give a bit of a shout out to uh, Rich Dipperbash, who kind of helped me pick out this gear ratio based on, um, you know, his sort of uh, experience with these sort of low KV motors. So hopefully that'll work out okay for me. And I'm running the Ovonix uh, 6500 milliamp 50C batteries, obviously connected in series. Um, and I'm also running the um, the update brace, the updated brace because. On, when I was running the Max 6 combo, I still had the original brace, uh, but after I bashed it, even with the MTC chassis, I kind of bent it. So now I've got the updated one, which kind of mounts up to the center bit. And anyway, that's all fixed up, and hopefully it makes the car a lot stronger. And now we're going to put the body back on and give this thing a go. I'm curious to see how fast it is because there's a lot of power here, and the gear ratio seems to be pretty good. So let's see what we can do. Alrighty then, let's see what we can do. I don't know if it's going to be super fast. I think I think it's just going to be really talky. I'll go from there and see how we go. All right, now our first pass. How much? 85. 85. So 85. So not as quick as I thought it was going to be, to be honest. So 85, it's, it's not bad. It's okay. Here we go, Noah. How much? 86. The thing is, the only option I have from here... Thank you. The only option I have from here is to go with a... 34 tooth spur so uh, my pinion would be bigger than the spur which is running a negative ratio i think that's that's how that works but that would be probably too much i don't know if i'm going to be hurting the power system how much 88 so <laughs> this is uh <laughs> yeah i wish that was miles an hour but it's not 88 kilometers an hour. Thanks, Noah. All right, well, that's three passes. I mean, it's got a ton of torque. Yeah, a lot of power, a lot of grunt. But nothing crazy <laughs> it's just yeah I think for bashing this is a really good setup it's gonna be awesome it's got good speed but I yeah I kind of was kind of hoping to get closer to a hundred to be honest but at the same time you know where where is my compromise here like where Am I going to be pushing the electric just a bit too far doing that? All right, so the last thing we're going to be checking here is, of course, going to be the GPS. Now, I am running the uh, wireless one in there. Um, see if we can do this. So we're going to hit stop and we're going to hit read. And we've got, whoa, 95. I don't know if that's right. I don't know if that's right. You know what I'm going to do? Let's go back. Let's go start again. And I'm going to do one more pass. Even after I've been sort of fanging it around here. We'll do one more pass. So all the way, full throttle all the way up there. And we'll do one more coming down.
and let's see if the GPS has read anything different because that sounds a little bit we were getting mid to high 80s and all of a sudden we got a mid 90 I don't know man that sounds a bit weird a bit strange let's see how we go uh, so we can stop again and read and holy crap 94 so maybe that is accurate come on camera can you please focus on the phone and don't worry about the reflections there we go oh sort of kind of there we go i think you can read you can make that out it's 94 uh, very very weird that it does that um and i'm getting that sort of reading but oh well it is what it is 94 k's an hour i'll take it if that's what it's doing then that's what it's doing um i guess it is a lot faster than what i thought and the size of it might be a little bit deceiving as well because it's such a big car doing 95k an hour just doesn't feel or doesn't look that fast as compared to something that's half its size so we'll leave that one for you guys to discuss in the comments and uh, i'll finish the video here thank you all very much for watching if you enjoyed it please be sure to hit the thumbs up button don't forget to subscribe if you're new and as always i'll be uh, speaking to you next time